Today on Attack of the Show. With a shaky start and adjustments at the top of the corporate ladder, will the PS3 be the last gaming console for Sony? You'll only know if you're in the loop. Usually it's composed of kick-ass girls, but this time we have the girls that can kick your ass. It's the MySpace Girls of the Week. You'll never know what's stuffed in your stocking when it came from eBay. All this and more on a live and tastefully done Attack of the Show starting right now. Attack. What's going on here? Attack. Pick up on this. Attack. Attack of the show. Attack. pre-show meeting. I walk over there and they're like, oh, no, 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 you can't, you can't stand here. We're discussing how to psych you up for the show. Oh, wow. fantastic. I was expecting cartwheels well, or like nice. an Abu Ghraib pyramid. And all I get is, <laughs> no, I, Ed, 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 are one of our PAs, he, uh, he almost has hernias every yeah. time he well, screams. Ed's it's excited. Amazing. Ed's actually working out because he, he's excited and he knows tomorrow, beer chugging competition right here on the show <laughs> with the guys from Broken <laughs> Wizard. It's going to be crazy. But anyway, welcome to Attack of the Show. In case you forgot, that's what you're watching. <laughs> TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. It's Monday, December 4th. I'm finally healthy. Yeah! Hell and yeah. I'm also Kevin Ferreira. And I'm Olivia Munn. And Kevin was here licking keyboards and, and the mouse. And now I am sick. Mm. And we're coming to you half live from the G4 Studios Pass in it LA. Along. I'm about to fall over Pass any it along. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, we, we, you, you got a reason to stay healthy and stay excited because tonight we're getting ready. It's the first sneak peek of the Halo 3 yes. trailer. It's going to happen tonight. Uh, I believe it's on ESPN. It's like a yeah. mix of CG and, it's and supposedly really, yeah. live action. It's, it's really great. I'm really excited. But I, I cannot I, wait. I can't wait either. And I, I don't want to cut you off, but um, right now I actually have to uh, make an apology. An apology? Um, it, it's, a, it's a penis apology. To just, everyone just watching. For the, for the teeth marks, or what is this? Okay, that's not, uh, that's very inappropriate. What is it? I thought we were going to chat about Halo. No, and, uh, uh, the no we are. It's very important, the Halo thing. It's very important. But this, I think, is, I just have to get it off my chest. Uh, last week, during In Your Pants, I made some unflattering comments about the uncircumcised oh, penis. Oh, yes, you yeah. did. Kevin, yes, you did. Kevin was upset afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to a lot of my guy friends about it. And I, I, you know, I went online. I looked at a lot of different uncircumcised penis. They're not, they're not unattractive. Did you, did you Google image searching? I did. I Googled Type uncircumcised sea penis. Sea cucumber. Yes. Enter. I looked, and I want to say it's not funny, you guys. Um, I want to apologize for those comments. I never meant no, to offend. It's not funny. I, I never meant to offend all of my uncircumcised fans. Um, <laughs> they're quite beautiful, and from what I hear, give a nice sensation to some ladies out there. And this is what I realized this weekend: penises are like snowflakes. They're all different, but yet they're all beautiful in their own way. And I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah. I was, um, okay. And it's sincere, too, just that was, so you know. No, if, if I felt Richards badly. If Michael Richards were the half forums as sincere, were we wouldn't be having the issues we have today. Very beautiful penis well, apology. Well, thanks. The forums were exploding, and I'm sorry. Yeah. And I'm sorry to you. You heard, I, I just, uh, from I'm sorry. A, being a guy's guy, I was like, what are you talking it, you about? Know, you I, possessed that one. I made, one <laughs> I made one opinion from a very bad, uncircumcised penis yeah. experience. And I judged you all. And I'm sorry. OK. All right. Well, let's let's well, let's let the healing yeah. begin. Let's let's move it on. I really am sorry, just so you know. Now it is time to go to the place that's not very nice and often very very naughty. No, it's going to be a goatsy Christmas, <laughs> folks. We're going around the net. <laughs> that's his goatsy face. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> Yes, everyone. Christmas is only three weeks away, and that was your pre-Christmas gift. Yes. The only thing anyone talks about are holiday deals, who's got the cheap HDTV, but don't forget the real star of the holidays, that jolly old fat bastard, St. Nick. Yes, yeah, Santa is everywhere. He's in the mall. He's on the can of Diet Coke, with the rosy cheeks. <laughs> but thankfully, there's an alternative to all that Christmas saccharine. Mm -hmm. In fact, yes, but no, but yes, dot com has compiled a list of the greatest Santa behaving badly internet videos of all time. All time. There he is. Yeah, there he is. One favorite is a homeless man dressed up as a Santa. He proceeds to buy booze, get drunk, swear at people, and of course, smoke some weed. Yeah. That's what you do. And that's, that's how you kick yeah, it off. Because really, they're not happy holidays until the chronic shows up. Yeah, we use the purple sticky instead of the mistletoe at What's our house. purple sticky? We just string it up. The, the marijuana. Oh. <laughs> Why do you call, I've never heard it called purple sticky. That's, that's all right. <laughs> Stop laughing at Buried me. down at the bottom of the page is probably the best <laughs> clip of them all, though. 
for uh, one family get together. <laughs> Dad dressed up as Santa. The whole family gathered in the garage. Oh. Have you seen this clip? It's no, ridiculous. I the whole family gathers. They're all ready. They want Dad to show up. He finally arrives and does it in, well, almost Griswoldian style. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's really not Christmas deck. until a drunken family member falls off a roof. Yeah, and onto that the makes hood. sense. Yeah, onto the hood of the car. That's what the season it. is really about. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is. That and um, inappropriate use of mistletoe. No idea what you're talking about. Go to well, g4tv.com slash AOTS for the links to everything Everywhere. you just saw. <laughs> is that what that is? Yeah. That's oregano. <laughs> right now, it's time for the it's only news sticky. that you need to know. What's that? <laughs> Here's Layla Kaylee and the feed headlines. Thanks, guys. Here's what's coming up in the feed. First, we'll tell you what might be in store for Apple's rumored iPhone. Plus, Yahoo and Reuters want you to take some pictures for them. And Napster creator Sean Fanning is working on a MySpace for World of Warcraft users. It's all coming your way in the feed. But first, back to you guys. All right, but now it's back to you guys. <laughs> like I toss yeah, it. I like it, but I don't like it that much. Army of monitor heads. Let's check in. Yeah, here's Matt from Michigan. Is the PS3 going to be worth it now that they're losing most of their exclusive titles? Mm. Mm, good question. Good, I mean, it is a really good question. I mean, Assassin's Creed and Grand Theft Auto 4, they're all going to, uh, the, both of them are going to Xbox 360, yeah. so they're kind of out on that in that aspect. Microsoft's doing the best thing that they can, and it's uh, Sessler pointed out as well. It's like when you go to any EB games or a GameStop mm -hmm. or wherever, they have giant cardboard stands that say, hey, just so you know, Grand Theft Auto 4, it's coming to 360, wow. just remember. Yeah. And they're doing that now because people have kind of figured out PlayStation 3 not really worth it right now. Not now. And again, if they keep losing these exclusives, it might not be worth it this time next year. That's when the real console war is going to happen, I think. That's 07. true. So many people out there, they feel that Sony, because they kind of botched the launch of the PS3, questions are being raised on the internets of all places, that this might actually be the end of the line for Sony's consoles. Is yep. it possible, Olivia, that hmm. in the near future, think about this for a second, this might blow your mind, sweetheart, it. that we're going to be playing God of War on an Xbox 720? Or maybe Final Fantasy on the Wii Deuce, the Wii hmm. 2? Those are some really good questions, but you're not really asking me. We're asking the fans at home, oh. and because we care, it's time for the poll question. Will the PS3 be Sony's last console? It's a big question. Vote on our website, g4tv.com slash AOTS, or text your vote to G4TXT. That's 44898 to vote and register for AOTS Live News Alerts. All right, folks. Now, coming up later, two of the six writers behind the scary movie make their directorial debut tackling some of the biggest blockbusters of our time in a little film called Epic movie from Caddyshack to Harry Potter epic movie is going to skewer them all and later we're showing you the trailer <laughs> yes now for the past few weeks we've been in the thick of the console war we are officially calling a uh, civil war that's right that's what we're doing between Sony and Nintendo but things weren't always so bloody there was a there was a, a time of peace there in was. fact there was a moment like when the PSP and the Wii you're sick you're diseased but I'll go, I'll go there because I gave it to you the PSP and the Wii actually tried to be friends at one point Olivia mm -hmm. and we have the proof
This is not what I was expecting to see. <laughs> yeah, I guess he had to be there for that last slide, by the way. <laughs> Um, you really sold it. I really oh, did. I, I did not expect for you to not expect that. I, well, I, oh, never mind. I don't even know what that bit was. All right, the Wiimote. This is not what I expect I, you to I see. Know, but, okay. The Wiimote actually made an appearance at the uh, Wii launch in Japan, yeah, by the, the way. The Wii, is, the Wii is looking good, <laughs> as always. Look at that. Yeah, I, I, okay. Let's just, no, let's get to Kevin the, the part where I talk about the commercial Kevin would love to see a sex tape break, between please. the Wii and the Stay PSG. with us, folks. We'll I'm be right back. I'm pretty sure that's what he's thinking right I now. I was not expecting to see that. With a rough launch for the PS3, does it spell disaster for Sony's console future? The loop breaks out its crystal ball. And Santa's shopping just got easier when it came from eBay. It's out. <laughs> Welcome back to Attack of the Show. We are live and talking PlayStation 4. Before the break, we asked you, will the PS3 be Sony's last console? Well, according to our text message counting scientists at the G4 Laboratories, the results are very close, with 51% of you believing that Sony will one day release another console. Let's go over to Kevin, who's still waiting for the Dreamcast 2. I love that little console. All right, last week, a major management reshuffling at Sony elevated PlayStation hardware visionary Ken Kutaragi out of the day-to-day -day operations with software focus Kaz Harai replacing him. Now, some video game analysts are already predicting that this means Sony could shift its focus from hardware to software. Could be crazy talk, though. So is Sony taking a page out of the Sega playbook? Is this the end of the PlayStation? Pour a 40 for Sony, would you? It's the loop. Joining us tonight, contributing writer for Yahoo Games, Justin Leeper, and Aaron Ruby is back for more Next Gen Magazine contributor and author of Smart Bomb, The Quest for Art, Entertainment, and Big Bucks in the Video Game Revolution. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loop. Aaron, I want to start with you here, sir, because uh, you know, a, a European Sony VP said recently that the PlayStation 4 is going to be out in 2010, which it strikes me as odd that anybody from Sony would be commenting on the PlayStation 4 right now. Obviously, they're trying to focus on the three. Others are saying, well, this is crazy because the management shuffle at Sony indicates clearly they're, they're, they're shifting focus from hardware to software. What, I mean, what are your thoughts here? Are, are either sides nuts? Yeah, well, there's no way that um, there's going to be a PlayStation 4 in 2010. That's just that's well, crazy. Is, it, is it because you don't think there's going to be a PlayStation 4, or is it just four years isn't long enough for this well, current cycle? Yeah, well, it'd be crazy to do it in, 20, in, in 2010. But also, yeah, I think that you know, if they can get out of this rut where we throw you know, a shiny new box out there every five years, that's a good thing. You know, people think if there's no PS4 right on the horizon that they lose. I think that's a victory if the longer they can wait. All right, now, now Justin, the, speaking about the removal of Kudaragi here, is, is, is that signal to you that, that Sony's not planning on making a PlayStation 4, or is it just a, a strategic shift to maybe appeal to developers somehow? To me, it's a good thing, because I think Ken Kudaragi was uh, super computer-intensive. He used to talk about how people want computer-generated things in their consoles, and really, we want games in our system, so it's good that Kaz Harai is coming up. He's a, he's a games-focused guy. I think it's going to repurpose Sony back as the machine for games, which is what it needs to be. Aaron, would you agree with that? Yeah, they, yeah. and they got to stop getting backdoored by Microsoft, definitely. Yeah, now, I, I don't think Sony likes being backdoored by anybody, let alone Microsoft specifically. But when you say that, what, what, exa what exactly is Microsoft doing that's, that's hurting Sony? Well, I don't think Sony's used to playing with someone who has such deep pockets, and I think they've been underestimating them all along. And now that the uh, 360 infrastructure is in place, they can just go after them, get, offer really good deals, get GTA 4, get Assassin's Creed, stuff like that. You know. Well, now, I wonder if, if, if you know, Microsoft is one concern for, for the big ass, but perhaps Sony's their biggest enemy, their own, their own worst enemy here, Justin, because Namco recently said that they've got to sell 500,000 units of any particular software title just to, to break even, or let alone make a profit. I mean, 500,000 copies of any game, wouldn't that be enough to make a developer think twice about developing a PlayStation 3 exclusive? I honestly don't think that's, that's too much of a new thing because it's always been that there's a very small percentage of games that actually hit really big and then everybody else is kind of struggling for that extra little nibble of the pie. True, but, but for a fraction of the units sold or, or even shifted on the Wii, a developer can have what he would call a quote-unquote hit. I mean, 500,000, that's... If you're, if, you're a, if you're not an EA, if you're not an Atari or an Ubisoft, you've got to be looking at that thinking, maybe we should go multi-platform here. I think well, it's definitely a, an expression of dissatisfaction on the part of developers. But how much that's really going to hurt them all depends on how successful the PS3 is. 
the smaller publishers have always waited a little bit longer until these consoles have gotten a bigger install base to come mm -hmm. in with their other games. You got your Atlases, you got your X Seeds, the smaller companies. Sure. Yeah, they're not going to be big players until now, until another maybe two or three years down the line when there is a big install base and it makes sense for them to take that financial risk. So you're saying quarter three of 2007, I can expect Puzzle Bobble, or is it going to be 2008? Am I going to have to wait a little bit longer? Yeah, you may be waiting a while, but ah. really, really the, I mean, in my opinion, the console wars aren't going to start until next year when this one-year head start that Xbox 360 has is eaten up and we'll see just how Sony right. is doing. When, when I can actually go into a store and say, boy, I'd really like to get a PS3 and they'll actually not laugh in my face and send me out the door right. they'll actually have the equipment that I want to buy. All right, well, Aaron, just not too long ago, you were talking about the, the, the shelf life, the, the, the console's life cycle, if you will. Yeah. And he said it, they'd, be, they'd be crazy to get it out in 2010. But, you know, Sony's losing money on every PS3 that they sell. Microsoft, a lot of people think, forced Sony's hand with the PlayStation 2 to cut its life cycle short. So looking at the PlayStation 3 versus Xbox 360, what's to stop Microsoft from releasing a console in 2010 to force Sony to upgrade their PlayStation 3? And how could that really damage Sony as a company to be bleeding all that time and then have to release a new console? Yeah, well, like, like you said, for example, the PlayStation 3 development costs just basically sapped what was the most profitable division of Sony. So, I, I, which is another reason why I think it's crazy talk that they're, that they're saying they're going to come out with something in 2010. Mm -hmm. I also think that I don't know that Microsoft can force their hand that way. I think Sony's trying to get out of this business model that's been going on for about 20 years where you just, every five years, you throw out a new box. Right. And I, I think they, they, if, if anyone can pull it off, it's them. They what? just have to start making really good games. True. It's, it's interesting that you brought that up here because four years ago, Kazurai said that the era of the console wars as we know them are over. Now, I know we're in the middle of the conflict now, so maybe we spoke a little too early, but will there ever be a time, and Justin, I want to give you the final word on this one, that you think the console itself will sort of be irrelevant, that a company behind a box of hardware in your living room won't matter, won't be Sony versus Microsoft versus anybody else. It'll just be a console that plays these games that keep getting better and better. Who's going to bow out? Is Sony going to bow out? Is Nintendo going to bow out? No, all those people want to get that money from manufacturing. They want to get the money through the software licensing. It's, it's just too big of an investment, too big of a, a return for them to actually just say, okay, Microsoft, you can make game console or Sony, you can make game console. It's not going to happen. All right, Aaron, really quickly, are we going to see a PlayStation 4 and when? Just ballpark it for me. I'm curious. Uh, 2015. So I should start lining up next week? Yeah, right. Okay. Exactly. Oh, good. And I'll bring a flag jacket this year. And you get games by 2017. Awesome. Decent games that people actually want to yeah, play. Exactly. I mean. All right. I want to thank our guests, Justin and Aaron, for keeping us in the loop there. Guys, listen, the PlayStation is just too big a part of Sony's billion-dollar digital empire for them to give up this easily. I mean, sure, there's been a ton of problems, a couple hurdles here and there for the PS3's launch, but a few missteps does not mean the company is going to cut and run at all. So don't, don't believe what you're reading on the blogs. Just rattle your six-axis and... Wait patiently for the PlayStation 4. Apparently, it's coming in 2015. Right now, though, let's go over to Olivia. Thanks, Kev. Today, we're bringing you Tuesday's biggest new music releases. It's time again to attack this. First, Eminem presents the re-up, an underground mixtape that Eminem created to promote his new stable of artists within the industry. Shady liked the tape so much that he turned it into this public release. Download the instant classic, You Don't Know, featuring 50 Cent. Next, Gwen Stefani's back with her sophomore offering, The Sweet Escape. After finally getting Holla back out of our collective consciousness, it has been conveniently replaced by Gwen's latest nugget of musical crack, Wind It Up. And if you need another reason to download Wind It Up, we have one word for you, and that word is yodel. Next, as a show, the OC might have taken a turn for the worse, but they keep cranking out decent soundtracks and mix six covering our tracks is no exception. The latest is a collection of interesting cover songs ranging from Goldspot's super happy version of Modest Mouse's Float On to Lady Sovereign taking on the Sex Pistols pretty vacant and actually sounding almost as pissed off as Johnny Rotten does in the original. And finally, someone's traded in White Weddings for a White Christmas. The best album to add to your list of wacky Christmas albums is Billy Idol's Happy Holidays. On his website, Billy admits that he hasn't always been a big Christmas fan. He says that in the 70s and 80s, he would actually get stoned for Christmas. If you want to go for maximum laughs, just watch the holiday music videos on Billy Idol's MySpace page. It's pretty funny. That's today's Attack This. Visit g4tv.com slash AOTS for links to all these albums. Still ahead, Sirius Radio is bringing TV to your car, and we'll tell you more about it in the feed. And up next, there's other stuff to buy on eBay besides consoles. We'll show you the other auctions you should keep an eye on. You're watching TV's only source for all the stuff you care about.
gavel. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Attack of the Show. You caught me. TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. We are live and mourning the loss of um, mourning the loss of George Clooney's 300-pound pet pig uh, that he shared his Hollywood home with. Yeah, George's pig Max lived 18 years and often Good slept years. in the same bed with Clooney. Good yeah. years. I'm trying to do a eulogy here. Sorry. You look uh, ugly. Yeah, Max will be missed, but there there is something actually good to come out of this. There's going to be a lot of ham at the Clooney Christmas party, so deep fry <laughs> that sucker. Right? Okay? <laughs> Squeal. We'll miss you. From ham sandwiches to taxidermy pig's feed, your Christmas gifts this year are going down in infamy. And when your family asks where you got them, yeah. straighten the collar, you know, stick them back, All look right. at them proudly and say that, you know what? It got I was waiting for them to cut me off. And I was they like, did. I forgot about this segment. Oh, now I remember. <laughs> now I know how it runs. All right, so since it's the holiday season, we picked a bunch of possible gifts for your friends and yeah. family. All right, first up, this is awesome. I would love mm -hmm. this one. A Panasonic 3DO in <laughs> mint condition. Yeah. Now, your little brother, he doesn't need a PlayStation 3. That brand <laughs> nope. is spoiled. He doesn't know what real gaming's about. You get him this video game console that's been in storage for 10 <laughs> years now, but it's in light new condition. Like even, new. Even plays compact discs, Olivia. Wow. Music through your television. <laughs> and as a bonus well, pick... Well, if we're not in 2006, I don't know where we are. Thank you. You can get the Dennis Miller game, which was fantastic <laughs> The Dennis for Miller game. You, well, tell me, with all of those extra bo extra bonuses, how much is this going for? Only 500 smackers. Well, zero bids. Zero bids. Actually, you know what? If you've got a local video game shop, you could probably find one of these for like 25 bucks. <laughs> but anyway, if you want it mint, you know it's in box, 500 is a good deal. Find it on eBay. Crash and burn, baby. Now, I have a question. Is your divorced dad having a little trouble with the ladies? Yeah. A little bit, actually, yeah. Well, I, I have a... I have a good suggestion. What? Get him these lucky underpants. Oh. Yeah, the seller of these six-year-old boxer briefs say that uh, they brought him some extreme luck with the ladies oh of, on many a Friday night and Saturday night when they were unleashed. However, he has found his love and he's getting married. Good for you. Good for you. So he feels it's time to pass on their power over the, to the ladies. Yeah, but and Yeah. Uh, did, he wants to ha hand with the next batch. I want to see a photo of those things under a UV light before I actually bid on them. Like, I don't want to look like a, an ink blot test. Yeah. Well, you know what? Um, they're only one British pence, which is about two cents, so you could probably purchase them <laughs> and afford to. What, but has anybody on bid that? on it, though? Oh, there's one bid. There's one what? bid. Kevin, you're going to get them. Don't worry, buddy. Oh. No one's fighting you for them. Stocking <laughs> stuff. There we go. All right, this next auction is for you, your uh, Star Wars obsessed mother, because mm -hmm. we know a lot of them out there. Yeah, love my the sabers. Mother. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A life size job of the hut that's over 12 feet long, Olivia. Wow. Yeah, pay attention. Let your freaky mom live out all of her Princess Leia fantasies <laughs> with this life size replica of Tatooine's favorite villain. Look at him. He's I want that, I so think. charming. Just make sure not to be around if your mom throws on the Princess Leia slave outfit. <laughs> no one wants to see that. 6,600 pounds. Hot. Yeah. Six not your mom. How, how many pounds the, uh, does that convert to? Because there's like $2 a pound to a. No, know. that's the weight, I believe, of the. Uh, oh. Oh, no, it's not. That's no, the price. No, it's how much it Converts costs. Converts to $13,064. Wow. That's 12 feet of Jabba. That is 12 feet of Jabba. That's pretty good. Maybe they can just cut off a little bit of the tail and how so much does that go for? Section it off. Section it off. And then you guys could come together and we could all combine as one. Like Transformers. <laughs> Are we going to combine Jabba, <laughs> Jabba tail sections and, yeah, that'd be awesome. and form the ultimate hey, superhero? It's a great idea. It's a Bandai cartoon waiting to happen. <laughs> and finally, we have a lovely gift for that black sheep in the family. You know your goth sister? Oh. Here's a fake male corpse. This movie TV okay. prop has had his throat slit and is made of rubbery silicone. Wait, is the throat made of rubbery silicone? Because I might want to... Ew. Well, the entire thing is made of rubbery oh, silicone. Right. So now there's a slit, so there's an extra orifice for you. I'm not exactly sure what emo goth kids actually do for fun, but I am sure your sister will appreciate this hilariously morbid gift to darken an unbearably bright holiday season. How much? Ten fifty. That's not $10. bad at all. No, it's not. For an entire corpse, there's six bits right now, so you got to make sure you get She can there. bring them to Hot Topic like she actually found a guy who wants to shop there with her. Hot Topic. That's where the cool kids go. Do you remember that one goth girl we had on here and you made a joke and you were like, hey, did you get that at Hot Topic? She's like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> go to g4tv.com slash AOTS for the links to these potential gifts. And as always, expect the unexpected when... <sighs> it came from eBay. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more Attack of the Show right after this. Man up, Pereira. Man up. It's news in just the right doses. It's the feed. And these badass babes will throw you a beating if you don't vote for them as the next MySpace Girl of the Week.
Hey Kevin, Olivia, I was wondering what game I could buy for you guys to come to Tennessee and be my best friends. Oh, that's sweet. You don't have to bribe us. But if you were, you should bring catchphrase or taboo. You like taboo? I love me some taboo. Taboo's great because you can put the buzzer in someone's face when they're wrong and really get in there. And I'm like, no, yeah. no, 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 yeah. I love I like catchphrase because it's like a hot potato is a great game on its own, but mm -hmm. it's not enough you now to satisfy. So when you when you add in the it's charades so with the hot potato, it's great. I also love apples to apples. Apples to apples, don't know that By one. By the way, you might think it's a kitty game, but I'm telling you, as the night is rolling to a conclusion, perfect. Really? Yeah. We should play it sometime. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's what you have to get, taboo um, or apples to apples. 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 Yeah. I should just, well, all right. Oh. Shoot some ladders. It's great. <laughs> if you send us a question <laughs> and we use it on air, we're going to send you what, Olivia? <gasps> a Happy Tree Friends Season 1 DVD. Now, this is the volume that contains the first nine segments of Sickness and, of course, some never-before-seen bonus features. Uh, the DVDs don't dance. That's actually all Mun in action right there. <laughs> Send in a question at g4tv.com oh, slash video voicemail. It's a DVD And remember, dance. Happy Tree Friends Season 1 is in stores tomorrow, so make sure you pick one up. I hate my life. We're live, and don't we owe a lot life. of money to our bookie. Advice to the kids, don't, hate don't bet the farm on USC. Uh, Olivia, don't do it. You know, stiff school. Soft schedule. Very you know soft saying? schedule. Now, coming up later, we are showing you the trailer for Epic Movie. The spoof comedy comes out January 26th, and we are showing you a sneak peek. <laughs> la, 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 la. See, don't you like your life more? Right now, it's time for the only news you need to know in the feed. Thank you, guys. I'm Layla Kaylee, and it's time to start the feed. We previously reported on Apple's rumored iPhone, and now some juicy details have leaked. On the Dick Nation podcast, Kevin Rose claimed that two models will be available, a 4-gig version for $249 and an 8-gig at $449. He also states that it will house two separate batteries, so you'll still be able to make calls, even if you listen to music all day. But here's the best part. The phones will not be tied to any network. Let's hope he's right. Next, Yahoo and Reuters want you to take some pictures for them. The two have created a new site called You Witness, where users can, can submit videos and pictures of breaking news. And if they use your stuff, you can get paid. For now, all the content provided will appear on Yahoo and then will be available on Reuters next year. At this time, it's still unclear how much you'll be paid for your media. You Witness will be open for business tomorrow. Starting next year, besides Sirius Radio, now you'll be able to watch some Sirius TV in your car. Deals are being finalized for the satellite radio service to deliver video content to cars by the end of 2007. There are no specifics on what will be shown or what cars will use the service, but one thing's for sure, you're going to have to pay extra. Thankfully, this programming is for the back seat of the car. Well, that's no fun at all. Now that Sean Fanning has pissed off the music world, now he's looking to get into the world of Warcraft. The controversial creator of Napster is developing Rupture, which has been called a MySpace for MMOs. It will allow gamers to create their own pages, which will feature a player's art stats and info, allow easy instant messaging, and facilitate scheduling. Fanning said he came up with the idea after finding it difficult to interact with other Warcraft users. Blizzard has no comment on the project at this time. Hopefully they will soon. Well, that's all for today. You can now get the feed to go on your iPod. Search for the feed in iTunes to subscribe. Now you've just been fed. Back to you guys. Thanks, 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 thanks. Fun fact, Olivia's uncle uh, invented ciabatta bread. He lived across the sourdough. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Uh, there's a commercial and you'll see it soon. Probably in a couple seconds on TV's only source of stuff to care about. Yeah. Competing <laughs> females can only be found one place. Competing to be the next MySpace Girl of the Week. And it's a hardcore gamer's dream blog when we check out Destructoid. The Feed is brought to you by the U.S. Army. There's Strong, and then there's Army Strong. Find out more at GoArmy.com slash strong. Hey, welcome back to Attack of the Show, TV's only source for all the stuff you care about. Yes, we are live, and after some hard work, we can now speak conversational elite. It's very exciting. Yes, yeah. 
Winter is upon us. It's getting cold mm. outside, Olivia. But we here at AOTS, we actually have something that's going to help you stay really warm. It's going to keep you going. Monday, folks, is our new day to pick the online <laughs> hotties. You know her. You love her. It's time for the MySpace Girl of the Week. Last week's winner, folks, Becky, a.k.a. Becky. Actress. Actress. It's actress, yeah. like actress, right? That's correct, yes. yes. Just but, the but with the elite spelling. The elite spelling. That's how I roll. We're now conversational in. Uh, yes. You won our Girl Gamer poll, Becky, which is a huge deal <laughs> around here. Some um, hot pictures. Very Thank hot you. pictures on the MySpace Thank profile. You. I, I got to imagine you get, what, ten to 5,000 requests a day. Uh, After the last show, I got, to, what, got a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of requests, yeah. Are they trying to hook awesome. up with them? Uh, do, do they stand a chance at hooking up with you on MySpace? No, you know, I'm completely faithful. Yes, Tommy Tellerico. You know, that's, good girlfriend. What that's what say? a lot of girlfriends say on MySpace. <laughs> and then they get top uh, eight. Oh. And it's just, <laughs> so well, you know, Kevin, Kevin, seen if you're a cheater when you're just, is it just a MySpace thing or? Like, are you really no. a faithful girlfriend? Oh, no, I'm faithful. Oh, okay. I'm good well, girl. Well, her done. Go ahead, Olivia. How about the segment? <laughs> well, well, Kevin's off there crying and <laughs> sorry, you know, Kevin. Canceling Sorry, Kevin. Canceling reservations somewhere. I gotta I ask you. Reorganize we, We've been debating something. It's kind of it's kind of small, and I feel silly bringing it up. But um, PS3 or the Wii? PS3. P wow. Whoa. Whoa and that, okay, because uh, maybe you missed the uh, the last few weeks when everybody's been yeah. saying it's a terrible console and you well, should. Yeah. Get what are you gonna play 60? on it? I'm I'm holding out hope for this next generation. I say don't buy the PS3 now. Okay. It's it's worthless right now. The games that are out for the PS3 aren't the games we so want to play. So how could you choose it over the Wii then? Yeah. What, what, what? The Wii there must be a game now. Do you like your television? What are you waiting on? <laughs> yeah. what are you waiting I'm waiting on, on Layer and Untold Legends. Uh, I think okay. that those are fantastic games for the PS3. Okay. All right. Did Tommy do the music for Untold Legends or something like that? Is that? Tommy did Because he does. He likes to pull that. Oh look, a buried treasure. I happen to be in the credits. Do you this have, is a fantastic game. Do you game. have a PS3 or a Wii? <laughs> I've played both of them. Actually, our company has both. But you don't own one yet. I don't own one you yet. You should have your boyfriend buy you one. Hello? <laughs> boyfriend, Tommy Tallarico. Is he watching? He's going to be so mad after this. We've, I think he we've needs to buy one lesson. for And I'm giving 000. him your phone number. As you, no, no. We, we love Tom, and that's why we kid, because he's, yeah. he's a good friend of the show. All well, right. Let's go into MySpace Hot. Yes, let's yes. judge some women. Let's objectify. Is, is Lauren. She resides in L.A. She's 25 Whoa. years old. Ooh. Yeah, and a her phone guy. is visitlaurenmarykim.com. Her quote is a plug for a website. Exactly. She's on MySpace. My what do you do? She's a martial arts expert who is also part-time movie Whoa. stunt woman. What, what's going on with her butt? It's jutting out. Could you Photoshop her in the like the, the frame of one of my doors <laughs> in the apartment? Because that's she I can see that happen. Well, look at that flexibility. You can you probably won't believe this, but she's actually uh, used to be an LA Lakers dancer, so she really has all oh. the bases covered. No, they actually you have to be that flexible. They have a, they actually break out the protractor. <laughs> do they? If you don't get protractor. if you don't get to 90 degrees or 180 even. You're not yeah. making it on the court. She's hot. Well, what do you, yeah. Well, some of these girls spice up their MySpace pages, which is mm -hmm. what I like. Lauren's no exception. She's got the ever popular picture montage. Yep. She's got a movie poster for Backlash, which is a movie she stars in. Could be a cinematic masterpiece. What's Backlash? Or well, it's, it's like whoa, and she hunts naked. Hunts naked. Yeah, uh, it's a Twilight Princess. Well, thing. there she is. There's the pier, Santa Monica Pier. I'm okay with that. Yeah, but no, this movie it could be like cinematic gold, or it could be like a 3 a.m. Cinemax thing. Either way. Oh, there it is. I'm Backlash. Watching. All right, Becky. Looks like a porno. Let's get into this. Becky, you're, what do you you're think? You're nodding. She's hot, right? You can't deny that. I'd hit it. I can't lie. I'd hit it. You, oh, Hottest yeah. thing any guest has said on the show, by yeah. the way. I must, <laughs> are, you, admit. are you by Becky? I think she's hot. I you think, think she's, she's hot? She's very she attractive. She's I don't know if she can kick my ass. I think she can model the crap out of it, but I don't know if she, she can, can kick it. She yeah. can work it on the runway, but not in the <laughs> ring. Is I what you're saying? She looks good. Oh, she just looks fantastic. Becky just sass snapped her. Wow. No. Okay. All right. Well, But she'd hit that. We got. Okay. I want to know about June, though. June. One of my favorite months. She is Kent, uh, she, she's in Kent, Ohio, 21 years of age, and she quotes, if you always do what you always did, you always get what you always got. And that's what? when I punch her in the mouth. <laughs> know, June studies Bra Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She's uh, as charming as wow. she looks, though. Uh, she's not as charming, rather. She says she loves to kick people in the face. Well, so does, that, that, is she kicking her in the face? Or no, she... she's, she's diving for pearls. There, <laughs> uh, she's of Japanese, Italian, and Irish descent, so that okay. kick to the face probably have a little sting to it. Are all these girls Asian? No, a drunken sting on this one. Mm. Um, I took a look at her page. You took yeah, a look as I well. Yeah, I did. And it, it, I have to say, it's a carefully constructed masterpiece. She's very interested in what you want to know because, <laughs> judging by the huge font, she shouts, what do you want to know? And she skipped the picture montage and opted for some sexy cartoonish artwork as a background. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. Enough of this girl. Becky, your verdict. What do you want to know? <sighs> you know, uh, you, you asked me if I was bi. I think that question should be posed to her. Oh. That, that picture now, there is a little... Which picture? Which one tipped you off? She was um, going for pearls. The, the diamond pearls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Becky? <laughs> 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 uh, I thought you were supposed to say the alphabet, but apparently not. You just. You say okay. the alphabet down there? Yep. Tell me with your tongue, you know? Oh, eight. 
This is, yeah, hey, this, let's keep this out of your pants. That's another segment. Let's keep going with our last MySpace okay, girl. Party. Our final lady is Julie. Location, Greenwood, oh, Indiana. Fierce. She's 25. Her quote is, I have found the paradox that if you love until it hurts, there can be no more hurt, only more love. Mm, I'm going to break her heart. Yeah. <laughs> this boxing beauty is a professional mixed art, a martial arts fighter with a record of 7-4-0. Look at that. Her real passion lies in grounding and pounding her opponents into submission. And I have to say, I would not want to meet this chick on the street. Very scary. Well, staying true to her passion, Very she posted scary. a bunch of fighting videos and a photo montage on her page. Now, Becky, wow. I, I don't know. You talked about these girls not being able to kick your ass. She is tossing chicks around the ring. Yeah, she's... I'm scared of her, honestly. This is, this is like Kobe in a hotel room action here. What do you think? Uh, you know, your, your thoughts on this girl? Is she really that tough? You know, I would bring her on the show if I were you guys, but I'd be scared for your lives. Make sure you have bodyguards that day. That's a good, that's a good point. I yeah, agree. I'll bring you a bodyguard. See her arms? They, more, like more, <laughs> more definition than my entire body. <laughs> yeah, she's a little. Ridiculous. She's scary. But, if, if this is on, who can kick your ass? She's proved she's it. Winning. So you're thinking she's a winner? In my opinion, that I'm going with her. All right, there you All have right. it. Becky chose. <laughs> you've got to choose though, and, and please choose carefully to avoid getting your ass kicked. Just go to g4tv.com slash AOTS and vote for your favorite lady. Yes, coming up next, we will tell you what are the best blogs on the net and yes, one's called Geek Entertainment. Stick around, that's next. Guests on Attack of the Show receive eye dogs, begging for the beat. Welcome back. We are live, and we are really wishing we were playing some Pimps at Sea right now. Yes, uh, a new age of ownage is upon us, folks. It all starts tonight, mm -hmm. actually. Bungie, could you, could you hook us up, please? I mean, we're cool. We play, are cool. Play the games. <laughs> now, Filmoculus.com just released its best blogs of 2006 that you maybe aren't reading. It breaks down 30 great blogs that are definitely worth checking out. Well, we've done the surfing, and, and we found that we found really three great blogs mm -hmm. that didn't make the list. So, from info to cool, here are the blogs you're not going to want to miss in this week's Blog Watch. <laughs> blog Watch! Watch! First up, look out, Kotaku and Joystick. There's a new bad boy of game blogs to contend with. <laughs> Destructoid.com awesome. is, quote, unfiltered, independent gaming news edited for and by hardcore gamers. The focus is on video game culture rather than just breaking game news and, of course, offer a healthy dose of snark. For example, they uncovered an apparent wardrobe malfunction in DOA Extreme, which allegedly shows Christie's ninja slipper in all its glory. <laughs> yes. I checked it out. It looks like a slipper, let me tell you. Also, you can count on them to dig up all the worthwhile video game related to YouTube videos like the crazy Wii playing moaning lady. Yeah. yeah, they definitely have a hardcore old school edge to them. That lady is crazy. It's a ninja slipper, yes, but it still squeaks on hardwood floors. Very weird. <laughs> Our next blog is geekentertainment.tv or GETV. It's a video blog run by Irina Slutsky and it's updated with new videos two or three times a week. She's located in San Francisco and Irina is really able to go behind the scenes with some of the biggest names inside the tech bubble, if you will. The videos feature Irene doing interviews with everyone from the all-female Quake team, Girls of Destruction, to Steve Wozniak, and even while he's playing Segway Polo, which is pretty awesome. Mm. But uh, check out this uh, one behind the scenes with the Ask a Ninja guys. What is the future for the ninja? I mean, where do you see the ninja going? You know, film, television, books, uh, children's stories, fables. I mean, he can't possibly care about money, so this is not about the money for him. No, no, he, he's all about uh, the message. Ninjanomics are more confusing than Alan Greenspan skiing backwards than a black hole made of laughter curves. Ah, nice. nice. Finally, last time we showed you Make, the blog that will give you tips on how to build all kinds of useless and fun projects, but leave it to them to figure out how to make the mythical and long overdue hoverboards. No, no. I always hear about hoverboards being made, but they're never the hoverboards we want. Come yeah, on. Yeah, well, they're not quite to the back to the future level yet. In fact, they still run on lawnmower engines, but the cool part is actually how they combine them with the sport of shuffleboard to create an all-new sport, shovercraft. Oh, perfect combo. Mm -hmm. really. Check out the video right now. Pretty awesome. For all these links to all these bloggers of blogs, visit g4tv.com slash AOTS. All right, now still coming up, we have the trailer for Epic Movie, which takes shots at talking beavers and snakes that like to travel on planes. Mine talks. I'm talking a mouthful. That's next on TV's only source <laughs> for all the stuff you care about. 
Our next performer killed last week at Jabba's Palace. Please put your hands together for Chewbacca. If you haven't been watching Attack of the Show, this is what you're missing. For more info, go to g4tv.com slash AOTS. Welcome back, everybody. Coming up tomorrow, it's DV Tuesday, and we'll tell you whether or not the pirate sequel is worth picking up. Mm -hmm. And talked about it at the top of the show, Broken Lizard will be coming by the studio to talk about Beer Fest, and then we're going to challenge them to a drinking competition live. Yes, I'll probably spit everything up. Mm -hmm. And on Wednesday, if you like fast cars and the latest auto tech, you're going to want to check out our report from the L.A. Auto Show. And finally, everyone, we've got the trailer for Epic Movie. It's from the people who did Date Movie, and now they are tackling Hollywood's biggest films. Hopefully there's snakes on a plane parody. It, it won't be as much of a joke as the actual movie was. That was a big joke. Yeah. But take a look at the trailer, though. From two of the six writers of Scary Movie. I've had it with these snakes on this damn plane. I heard you. Now, can you please go get some raid or a knife or something? Discover what it takes. I'm so hot. To survive an epic movie. You're the future kings and queens of Narnia. Oh, my God. It's talking beaver. Beware of the wizards. My name is Harry Potter. Aren't you a little old to still be a student here? Nonsense. I am at 14. Epic movie. Looks, looks epic. Looks epic. Now, for all the things you guys saw today and more, go to g4tv.com slash AOTS. Oh, you know what's interesting, Olivia? Hmm. I don't know if you knew this. Uh, our show is not, is, is not going to go on indefinitely for the rest of the evening. There's another show that's going to happen right after this one. Yeah, X-Play. Everyone knows this. Comes up next. It's, well, as soon as this is done, they're going to see Morgan and Adam mm -hmm. talking about games, giving out reviews. You know, there's going to be like four out of fives or maybe a three out of five. I don't want to spoil it, but there's going to be numbers. X-Play's next. Morgan and Adam And crystal will be balls. There. Because there's a globe. I love the globe. We don't have a globe. We just got I need the globe. Yep.